Hallelujah. Welcome to Morning Charge. This devotion will be to energize the body of Christ, to prevent disuse, a state of not being used, and to instruct, to tell person of the word of the living God so that they can know the way they should go. In lieu, instead of following the patterns of this world which causes destruction, today's topic will be dealing with the spirit of fear. The word of God comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1. We will be reading from the Amplified Version. The verses are as follows. Please read verses 1 to 15. Listen closely. Paul, an apostle, special messenger, personally chosen representative of Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed by the will of God, according to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved son, grace, and peace, inner calm, and spiritual well-being from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I worship and serve with a clear conscience the way my forefathers did as I constantly remember you in my prayers night and day. And as I recall your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I remember your sincere and unqualified faith, the surrendering of your entire self to God in Christ with confident trust in his power, wisdom and goodness a faith which first live in the heart of your grandmother, Louis, and your mother, Eunice. And I am confident that it is in you as well. That is why I remind you to fan into flame the gracious gift of God, that inner fire, the special endowment, which is in you through the laying of my hands with those of the elders at your ordination. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound judgment and personal discipline abilities that result in a calm well-balanced mind and self-control so do not be ashamed to testify about our lord or about me his prisoner but with me take your share of suffering for the gospel continue to preach regardless of the circumstances in accordance with the power of God for his power is invincible for he delivered us and saved us and called us with a holy calling a calling that leads to a consecrated life a life set apart a life of purpose not because of our works or because of any personal merit 
we could do nothing to earn this. But because of his own purpose and grace, his amazing, undeserved favor, which was granted to us in Christ Jesus before the world began, eternal ages ago. But now, that extraordinary purpose and grace has been fully disclosed and realized by us through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who through his incarnation and earthly ministry abolished death making it null and void and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel for which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of this good news regarding salvation. This is why I suffer as I do. Still, I am not ashamed, for I know him, and I am personally acquainted with him, whom I have believed with absolute trust and confidence in him and in the truth of his deity. And I am persuaded beyond any doubt that he is able to guard that which I have entrusted to him until that day when I stand before him. Keep and follow the pattern of sound teaching, doctrine, which you have heard from me in the faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Guard with greatest care and keep unchanged the measure, that precious truth which has been entrusted to you, that is the good news about salvation through personal faith in Christ Jesus. Through the help of the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. Here ends the reading of God's holy words. Thanks be to God. So as Paul charged Timothy with these words, so too the Lord is charging us, do not be afraid. Share the gospel in season and out of season. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. In spite of the sufferings and circumstances that may arise, serve God wholeheartedly, without shame, without fear, knowing that God is more than able to keep that which we have entrusted in him until the day when he returns. Hallelujah. Before we bow our head in prayer, let us meditate on this worship song. You provide the fire I'll provide the sacrifice You provide the spirit I will open up inside Fill me up God Fill me up, God. Fill me up. You.
you provide the fire. I provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit. I will open up inside. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Hallelujah. Remember this word as you will carry on throughout your day, throughout your life. God has placed his spirit inside of you. A spirit, the Holy Spirit, not a regular or common spirit. The spirit that was in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah now dwells in you not a spirit of fear hallelujah but the spirit of power of love and of a sound mind stir up the gifts of god's holy spirit in you and do not be ashamed do not be ashamed to represent christ in Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord will ignite in all believers this day His fire, His fire, His fire, His fire, His fire, His fire, Kushala Bade Sabayoko. His fire, his fire, his fire. Come forth, holy fire, holy fire, come forth. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Hallelujah. I declare that the Lord Jesus Christ is reigniting your fire. He is reigniting your passion to serve him. He is calling you to service. Do not put God off. He is calling you. He is calling you. To be a delegate of the Lord. A delegate is someone who has been sent to act upon the behalf of someone the lord is calling forth delegates jesus christ showed us this truth in a saint luke chapter 10 when he appointed his apostles he gave them power Luke 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon the serpent, the scorpions, and all the powers of Satan, and nothing shall be able to arm you. The power God has given to you, child of God. Overpowers all the powers of Satan. This power from God is high power. Higher than any other power. To conquer, to subdue, to make ashamed any other power. That comes against the will of God. So move forth. Move forth. Move forth. You are more than able to conquer. In Jesus' name. If you agree with this prayer. Say in Jesus' name. 
Amen. And I touch and agree with your faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Abide by these words. Please share this word with someone you know. It's not easy sometimes to get up in the morning and to go about your daily activities. Sometimes persons feel heavy and feel as if they just don't want to go on. But send this word to someone. You never know what God will cause this message to do and your act of obedience to do when you send this word. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. And have a wonderful day. I am Shanika Taff, a delegate of the Sovereign Lord. Bye.